Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel and my good name is Nancy Otieno and if you are new on this channel, you are highly welcome and if you are returning subscriber, I do appreciate your support so, 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 so much. Guys, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed, please take your time and subscribe. Okay guys. Oh, and guys, don't forget to click the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified, okay? So, without wasting time, let us go straight to the video! Welcome back again to another video and uh, guys uh, on today's video I just want to noise guys somebody is talking louder okay guys on today's video I just want to talk about how my life has been as a single mother guys as you know very well, being a single mother is not easy. It's not a joke at all, at all, at all, at all. And let no one... <laughs> let not no one tell you that it's easy, my dear. It's not easy. So, I just want to share with you because maybe I'm not, uh, I'm not the only single mother in this world. We are many, but... Everybody has his own, everybody has her challenges. I don't want to talk about men right now, but I'll talk. I just want to talk about what I know, what I've experienced. Okay, guys. That's why I don't want to talk about the widowers. Not widowers. <laughs> the single fathers. <laughs> Sorry. The single fathers. Okay. So, me, I just want to talk about the, my life as a single mother. Okay, guys, me, I'm a single mother. I'm in uh, Kenya. Kenya is in Africa, and I'm staying in Kisumu, Yalenda Slums, guys. So, guys, uh, some people are just, they don't know. So guys, this is how my life has been since uh, I became a single mother. Um, okay, I was left with the kids, two kids. My 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 husband decided to just left us like that. The reason I don't know, and I can't explain. But I think I'll. I'll bring another story on how we separated with the father of my kids. So guys, since I was left, the life has been very tough, guys. It's not easy because if you're a single mother, you're the one to feed the kids, you're the one to educate them, you're the one to buy clothes for them, you're the one to do everything. Maybe if, if, any, if any kids, your child, is sick you're the one to take him to take them to the hospital guys and you don't you don't have anybody to share you don't have anybody to share everything any family 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 issues you don't have anybody to give you a shoulder to lean on you are just alone and alone Guys, it's not easy. I can remember there was a time my daughter was really sick at night, <coughs> around 1 p.m. 1 a.m. p.m. Guys, I was so frustrated. My daughter was sick, and I'm just there alone, and I don't know what to do. I don't know to call. I don't know who to call because my parents are far away. 
guys i was so 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 so, so stressed up and it was really my daughter was really sick that day okay guys i just prayed i prayed because i only left with my my god to support me guys i was not able to do anything so guys let me tell you how my life started so we've been with my two kids a boy and a girl uh, my daughter is in grade three my boy is in form two right now so their dad left when my daughter was uh, was about to start the the nursery school i think uh, by that time my daughter was around uh, she was approaching three years by then and my son was in uh, class three three i think class three when their dad left so guys it it, it has been tough with me because I, I don't have a stable job i was just working for people and guys working for people is really tough you 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 go you, you go in very early in the morning okay guys i was saying working for people it's really hard because you came late and you have kids and you know kids they always want at least they they, they eat earlier and sleep earlier or they do their homework earlier for the next school day so guys it, it has been tough for me and uh, I've, I've been trying my best for my kids to to eat because if you are there and you are a single mother and uh, you are the one to make sure your kids feed every day and they go to school every day so you must work hard and you must struggle for them to for for them to survive guys and also to show love because they don't have their dad you are the one to show them love so guys, it has been tough, and uh, right now I don't have job. I'm just staying at home because I lost my job, so I've not been able to get another chance to work anywhere. I'm still at home, guys. So I wanted to tell you a story guys how it has been. <sighs> so guys I can just remember one day I was from work and uh, I was late. I was late around uh, two, around 8 p.m. So I came and uh, I found a big padlock on my dog guys and my kids were at neighbor's house so when I went there and knock and asked them whose padlock is this and they told me that landlord is the one who closed that door and he said if you can't pay rent then it's better for you to leave the house for for, for somebody who can pay rent and guys I was stressed up with kids and it, I can remember very well it was raining so I was late paying rent because my boss didn't pay me money earlier so I was not able to pay rent and I, by that time I was having arrears around arrears for two months, three months. So it was very tough for me and uh, I called the landlord and told him, please, if you can just help me because I have kids and I don't have anywhere to go, just please come and open for me the door. And the landlord responds. He told me that I can't open that door unless you pay me money, guys. And I didn't have even a single cent to pay rent, guys. 
so I was stressed up and uh, just decided to call my father and told him the situation. Guys, if you still have parents, respect those people. Parents are very important, are very important in life. So my, my father was the one who helped me with 3,000 to send the to send to the landlord for him to come and open for me the door, guys. So that day, when we were in the house with my, with my kids, I can remember very well, my daughter asked me, Mom, so this landlord just think that we don't have a house to live, guys. To live, that's why he always closed for us doors. See, but, Ma, why can't we just go home? Because we have a beautiful house there. Why can't we just go home and stay, stay there? Hmm? Because we are just suffering here. Landlord is just frustrating us. Let us just go home and stay in our house, guys. I, I, my tears just came out and all. Because I was just thinking that my daughter is telling me to go home and that house where we are going to stay, I was chased by my mother-in-law not to go to that house again. I was chased by my mother-in-law, guys. So, if I had my daughter t telling me that we can just go to a house and stay safely there, it, re it reminded me about those things. The day I was chased away, I think, guys, I, 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 will, I will give you a story. How my mother-in-law chased me away from, the, from, his, from her, her, her home, guys. And he told me never to step that home again. So, me, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't answer my daughter. I was just crying. And my daughter told me, Mom, just organize so that you can go home. And I told her, Mom, we'll go. Just relax. So, I was trying, guys. I was trying my best for my kids to eat, to go to school. Not to be like they, they don't have their dad, so they are suffering. So I was just working tirelessly. I was just working throughout, working throughout. So it reached a time I didn't have job completely, completely. Then the schools were closed. So my kids decided to go home, our home now, to my parents. So I let them go. And uh, when it reached a time to come back, <laughs> guys, my kids refused to come back. Imagine, they refused. And they told my mom, we are, going, we are not going back and we want to start our schooling here. So my, my mom asked them, why, why can't you just go back to Isomo? And they told my mom, oh, mom, there we, we are just suffering, landlord is just quarreling us every now and then, he's just closing the door. So me, I just want to stay here because here we don't have landlord who will always close the door for us. And my mom just called me and told me, your kids are not coming back and they want to start their school here. So guys, me, even me, I, was, I didn't have an option. So from then, my kids are staying with my parents. They are at home, they are schooling there, and they are doing good. And I thank God for giving my for, for keeping my parents alive. Guys, my parents they are just there for me, guys. They are helping me. They any they hey parents, parents are parents are hey, if you if you are still have your parents, just shukuru, pray. Guys, I'm praying that one day, one time, I may be able to help my parents just to give back. They are always there for my kids. So guys, 
my kids are there. So the challenge I have right now is about school fee. You know, guys, I don't have job right now, and my son is in form two, and uh, <sighs> I need to pay school fees. So, guys, pray for me. Pray for me so that I can get a job and pay for my son fee because I don't want my kids to suffer guys. I don't want them to suffer.